Hi, I'm Zach Hodges, and in this video, I'm gonna get you started using the Visco app. Now, we all know Visco is a wonderful photo editor, but it's also an amazing place for community, inspiration, discovery, and so much more. So we're gonna open up the app and get right into it. When you first open the Visco app, you're gonna see five tabs. So starting from the far left, home is your feed of images from the people that you follow in the Visco community. Discover is where you'll find inspiring content, challenges, and the search function. The studio is your private workspace to gather and edit the images that you wanna work on. Profile is where the Visco community can learn about you and see your work. And then spaces is where you can join or create groups built around a particular focus or theme. And then additionally, there is this side menu where you'll see uh, the activity on the content that you've published, messages from other users, images that you've favorited, people that you follow or the people that follow you, and various settings for the app. To get started with the Visco app, let's import and edit a photo. So first, let's open the Studio tab here in the middle, and then I'm gonna tap on the Import button at the very top, and I'm gonna select an image that I wanna edit from my camera roll. But you can select as many images as you like here, and videos too. And once I'm done with my selections, I'll tap on Confirm to add this image as a draft to my Visco Studio. Now, this is your private workspace, right? So nothing here is public or published yet. Uh, and these images are still in your camera roll too. These drafts are really just references. So don't delete them from your camera roll or they will disappear from Visco as well. Once you've created a draft in your Visco Studio, select it, and then you can see that there's several options here like creating a collage or a montage with this image, syncing it to the desktop or sharing it. But I just wanna edit this image. So I'm gonna tap on edit. And then here in the editor, we start off in the presets tab. And this is really the best place to start for most people. These presets are pre-made looks for a really wide range of styles and applications that you can apply to your image you know, really quickly and still get great results. If you tap on the preset icon, uh, you can view the presets in different sorts of grids, that can be helpful. And then there's also these categories here on the top that are really helpful in helping you to find your way around this list. For this photo is a category that actually uses AI to recommend a preset for your photo. And this is many people's favorite place to start with editing on Visco. I'll tap on a preset like HB2 here to apply it to my photo, and then I'll tap it again to adjust the strength of the look to my taste. And this is looking really great already. Now I should mention, there are three types of presets in Visco. The standard type with the strength slider like you see here with HB2, as well as the film presets. And these are the ones with a white background and colored letters. And these are made to look like various analog film stocks. And then there's also the pro presets, which give additional controls to some of our most popular looks. Now, you don't have to remember any of this. If you just tap on the name of a preset while you're in this view, you get a nice little page here with a write-up about this preset and examples from the communities of how other people have used this one. So definitely explore that if you would like. Once you have a preset applied that you're happy with, you can go ahead and confirm those edits and then head over to the Tools tab to make further adjustments. And there are a lot of tools in here. Uh, there's things like the Adjust tool for things like Crop and Straighten, all the way over to the HSL tool to make adjustments on specific colors. These are really great to correct problems in your image, but also just to make artistic enhancements as well. I'm just gonna open up the Exposure tool um, to kind of darken this image. It's a little too bright for my taste. And again, you can tap on the name of any of these tools to learn more about them. And then I'll go ahead and hit the check mark and confirm that edit and then move on. Let's take a look now at the effects tab here in the middle. And this one has many overlays that can be added for film and light effects. And these work on video as well. So be sure to take a look at that. And then next over is the recipe tab, which enables you to save a set of edits for easy recall. And this can really speed things up. And then finally, at the very far right, we have the Organize tab, which allows you to make the editor space your own by favoriting and arranging things in the way that you'd like. All right, so I've made some edits and I'm really happy with how this photo is looking. And now I'm ready to share it. To do this, I'm gonna tap on the Share icon here at the very top right. And you can see there's quite a few options that you get. Share to will allow you to share to any of the other apps that you have installed on your phone. Post to Visco shares this image with the Visco community. Save to camera roll is pretty straightforward. Share your recipe will give you a way to share your favorite edits with your community. And then sync to cloud gives pro members a way to send this image to the web editor to keep editing on the desktop. Let's go ahead and publish this image to Visco since I can also save to my camera roll at the same time with that. And this is where you can publish something on Visco for others to see publicly. 
Uh, I could enter a description or maybe use like hashtag Visco. Uh, and then I'm gonna allow discussion since I'd love to hear from my followers on this image and then go ahead and hit save and post. Now, just a quick call out here, only members can engage in discussions, but anyone can see them. And you can enable or disable discussions at any time if you change your mind about whether you want to have that. So you're in complete control with that feature. Let's go ahead and head over to the Visco feed to see the image that I just posted. I'll go ahead and exit the editor here and I get asked if I wanna save my changes to this draft. And these are the edits that I just made. So I'm gonna tap on save changes and now I'm back in the studio. So let's deselect that image. And now I'll tap on the home icon on the far left and I get to my Visco feed and I can see the image that I just published here at the very top since this is a chronological feed. And this is also where you'll see images from the people that you follow. You'll see under an image in the feed that there are a few icons. So the star icon will favorite that image and this will give the creator a private notification that you've done this. And it's a great way to tell someone that you like their work. The chasing arrows will repost that image to all of your followers. And so this is a great way to share an image that you love so much that you think everyone ought to see it. And the creator will be notified about that as well. And then the little chat bubble icon here is available because I enabled discussions. And so this is where you can start a discussion with that creator if you are a plus or a pro member. Now, a great feed needs great creators, and thankfully there's a lot to find here. If you just scroll down a little bit, the suggested user carousel will have some new suggestions for you every session, and you can tap on them to see their profile. And here you can see their work, the things that they've reposted, and anything else that they have shared about themselves. And if you wanna see more of their work in your feed, you can go ahead and follow them there. Okay, now let's talk about your Visco profile. Let's go back to the feed and head over to the profile tab with the little face icon. This is where the images that you have published will be visible to everyone else, as well as your reposts and any of the info that you provide about yourself. Pro members can also create galleries to showcase their work here as well. And then any public spaces that you are a part of or that you started will be here also. We'll talk more about spaces in a minute. The about section is especially important for pro members because this is where you can let the community know what kinds of activities you're available for, like mentoring, giving feedback, as well as making yourself available for work and letting potential clients know the kind of work that you do. To build your profile, tap on the pencil icon here at the top right, and now you can fill in as much as you'd like to share about yourself, including other links to your work. And then as you scroll down, you can see the additional options that pro members have to set up their profile. And much of this becomes visible in Visco Hub, where potential clients can see this information and learn more about you. All right, so that's the profile section. Now, let's look at how you can find creators that you love to have a feed full of new and inspiring work every single day. So let's head over to the discover section here with the magnifying glass icon. And right at the top, we can see curated selects by Visco. And these are some of the best images that our human curators are seeing each day. And this can be a really great place to start. You can open these creators profiles and follow them if you'd like their work. But if you open an image here or in the feed, this works there too, and then scroll down, you can see related images. And this is another great AI feature that helps you to find more work that is similar to this image. And so you can use this to follow an endless trail of images and find many, many more photographers to follow. The discover section also has editorials, collections, suggested images based on the images that you've favorited, but I wanna call out prompts here, like this one that we have going for leading lines. Uh, this is a great way to learn, but it's also a way to use this hashtag, which in this case is line up. And this is a chance for you to be featured on the Discover page. Moving on, at the top right of the Discover tab is the search feature. And here you can look for people and for images on Visco. And so there's a lot to explore here in the Discover section. And the more people that you follow, the more you'll get out of the feed and the community. Okay, now before we close, there's one more community feature I wanna highlight. So let's talk about the final tab in Visco, which is Spaces. So these are small communities that you can either join or create, and they can be about anything. They can be public with up to 150 people or private with whoever you'd like. And Spaces is a great place to connect with and have discussions with other like-minded creatives around a topic that you all share an interest in. So you can start by browsing the spaces that already exist and find one that you're interested in and then get connected with others in that way. All right, there you have it. That is everything you need to know to get started with Visco. Now, there's a lot I still didn't cover, so be sure to check out the support articles and learn articles on our website if you want to learn more. And as well, we're going to be doing future videos where we dive into more features in depth, so be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more. 
Thank you, and I will see you on Visco.